pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga lami. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hanga din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasasigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED Hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello everyone! Isang agamazing na hapon po sa inyong lahat. Hello sa ating mga grade 8 learners, teachers, and parents, and of course sa ating mga school head na talagang sumusubaybay sa ating DepEd Itulay online tutorial session. Of course, hatid sa inyo ng DepEd Department of Education through the ICTS. All right, so isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Agamazing, once again, agamazing na hapon. I am Tutor Marky from SDO Bulacan. Kasama po si Tutor C from the SDO Tarlac Province. So of course, again, Science 8 Itulay online tutorial every Monday from 1.40 p.m. to 2.20 p.m. At live na live po yan sa ating DepEd Itulay Facebook page and of course, DepEd Itulay YouTube channel. And of course, grade 8 learners, kung mapapansin nyo po, ako lang mag-isa ngayong hapon dahil po ang ating Tutor Z ay may importante lang pong uh, aasikasuhin. But for now, syempre, as asamahan nyo po ako mga grade 8 learners and ating mga keyboard warriors talaga namang ngayong hapon ay ating pong pag-uusapan ng isa na namang ka kaabang-abang na topic para sa inyong lahat. And of course, grade 8, Ito na, ito na, ito na, ito na tayo, papunta na tayo sa exciting part. Of course, tayo po ay nasa week 6 na. And of course, bago ang lahat, kindly share our session today. As in now na, 
tag or mention your friends. So therefore, always comment your name and your school dyan, dyan mismo sa comment section. And of course, syempre, power sharing tayo, mga kaibigan. Okay, so let's start our uh, uh, timer. So ibig sabihin, start na po tayo from hello kay Le, uh, Laika Galang Pagdanganan from Santa Lucia National High School kay Jerome Osdanya ng Katmo National High School kay Francine uh, Francine De Leon Panalangi ng Santa Lucia High School kay, kay Clea Soriano Hello din kay Ma'am Ninita Martin Tolentino Happy viewing po Okay, kay Samantha Fajardo from Santa Cruz National High School. Kay Lorenzo DRG, talaga namang hanggang ngayon, nandiyan pa siya from Partida National High School. Kay Lea De Vera, hello there. Kay Jasmine Bata, diyan, tinag, tinag pa siya. Kay Isa May Maga, uh, Magaway Pulido. Ayan, parang ake. Okay. So we have another one is we have um, uh, Christian Alvaro, hello there. Hello kay Jasmine Bautista. Ayan, yung mga students ko from grade 10 na talaga namang up to grade 8 ay uh, tumututok sila. Hello po kay Sir Mark Lester from uh, Pulong Buhangin National High School. Medyo nagaano ang ating timer. Okay, so we have Mary Rose Santos from Katmo National High School. Hello po. Kay Jeremiah Asher. Kay uh, Lea De Vera. Who else? Kay, kay Aldrian Mark Pulayan from Katmon National High School. And of course, hello there kay Kriza May uh, Edma, mula naman sa Ramon National High School. Ayan, so, uh, uh, bago ang lahat, no? So, again, uh, tamahan niyo po ako hanggang sa mamaya matapos ang ating online tutorial session. Of course, syempre, bibigyan ko po kayo ng isang magandang-magandang discussion for this afternoon. Gaya nung nabanggit ko kanina, papunta na tayo sa exciting part. We are now on week 6 of our quarter 4. Uh, ito lay science tutorial session. So malapit na po tayo sa ating recognition. And of course, at syempre yan ay ating aabangan. For this afternoon session, ang ating topic is about interaction. So by the way, I would like to recognize first the development team of this module that we're going to uh, use for this afternoon. This module entitled Interaction. All right, is from the school's division of Bulacan. And of course, the development team of this module, we would like to say thank you very much for the writers, the illustrators, layout artists, the editors, the content evaluator, language evaluator, layout evaluator, and of course, the management team. Thank you very much. All right, so for this week four, uh, quarter four, week six, our most essential learning competency, all right, is to explain the advantage of high biodiversity in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem and describe the transfer of energy through the trophic levels that you encounter every day. Ayan, so medyo mahaba-haba ang ating uh, learning competency for this afternoon. Kayo ba, mga grade eight learners, ay kamusta, by the way? So, uh, Ayan, may, may konting paano pa ako. Hello po kay Donabel uh, Luches. Ayan, so patuloy talaga sila nga. Ayan, thank you very much, Leia De Vera. Done sharing po. So please, please, pakishare po ang ating online tutorial session this afternoon para masaya po ang lahat. Hello din po uh, kay, uh, kay, kay Daisy Santos de la Cruz from Partida National High School. Ayan, so mamaya... Uh, babanggitin ko rin yung mga ibang, uh, ibang mga learners natin na sumusubaybay. Hello din po kay Aiza Pulido from Don Mariano Marcos National High School. Thank you very much. So for this afternoon, our learning goals for our week 6 topic, which is interaction, is first, at the end of this uh, session, you will go into identify procedures, consumers, and decomposers. The second one is to investigate and analyze the transfer of energy from one organism to another. And our third learning goal is to recognize the role of each organism in the environment. All right, so are you ready, guys? But before that, let us have first uh, some reminders to ponder. First one is to uh, take the pretest prepared at the start of this module or the start of this uh, session. Another one is to take time in reading and understanding the lesson and follow instruction carefully. So another one is use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment or just simply uh, comment your answer on our comment section. And also try to recall and connect the ideas that you had on your lower years. 
So another one is don't hesitate to ask. If you need to clarify something, approach or contact your teacher. Siyempre, nandiyan naman si ma- sila, ma'am. If you have something na hindi, medyo, hindi kayo medyo na, naliliwanagan. So, nandiyan lang naman si ma'am. Uh, one chat away lang naman yan sila, ma'am. So, another one is be honest. When doing this activity or record only what you have already uh, really uh, observed, take post test prepared at the end of this session or at the end of this module and you can check your answers in the uh, activities self assessments and post test all right so again so everyone so the recognition at stake ito talaga kaabang-abang to dahil ito ay ating bibigyan ng pagkilala ang ating mga grade 8 learners at bibigyan din sila ng award syempre we have the mahusay chuti we have the faster thinker chuti scientific chuti We have the Mahusay teacher and of course, the Mahusay school. So sino-sino ba ang makakakuha na ito? Sino-sino ba yung mga eskwela na laging nandyan para sa atin from week 1 up to week 8, from first quarter down to the fourth quarter? So ayan, mapapa, mabibigyan natin sila ng uh, recognition sa ating week 8. Kaya uh, grade 8 learners, teachers, parents, and ating sa mga iba't ibang mga uh, schools, ayan, tutok lang po tayo up to our graduation. And of course, ayan, ready na ba ang lahat? So, pakicomic nga po kung ready na, kung kung ready na po kayo sa ating online session for this afternoon. Ayan, patuloy talagang bumabaha ang ating uh, comment section. Ayan, so from Don Mariano Marcos National High School. Ayan, nakikita ko po ayan, ang inyong... Uh, Uh, comments. Yes, Tutor Marky from Kurt Axel. Ayan, ready na rin si Lorenzo DRG kay Janelle Cabilin. Ready na rin siya. Kay Mary Kat Sipagan. Katleya. Uh, yes, si Katleya. Si Monique Duque. Ayan, ready ready na. So, are you ready? So, let's start. So, the directions. Read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. And use a separate sheet of paper for your answers or comment it down. So again, grade 8 learners, do not forget to uh, type your type the number and then your answer, the letter of your correct answer. All right, let's begin. So the, for the first question, the transfer of the sun's energy from producers to consumers as organisms feed on one another. What is that? Is it letter A, food chain? Is it letter B, food cycle? Letter C, is it food pyramid? Or letter D, food web? All right, so let's see the comment section. Who's Ariane, si Lorenzo DRG, he answered letter A, that is food chain. So grade 8 learn. Ayan, si Laika Galang Pagdanganan, he, uh, she answered letter A also. Ayan, very familiar name. Ayan, thank you very much for... Uh, ayan, ayan, we have uh, Leia Obiliano. All right, so Katleya Soriano answered letter A. Jamela, Janelle Cabilin, ayan, Aida, ayan, Ginger, hello there. Ayan, si Lea de Vera, Francine de Leon Panalangin, Ray Umbas, uh, Frena J, Jerome Osdanya. Okay, they all of all of them answered letter A. So let's see what is the correct answer for this. All right, very good. So the answer is the food chain. Job well done, guys, for... Good start for the question number two. Okay, the level of food chain that contains the most energy are the blank. Is it letter A, decomposers? Letter B, first order consumer? Letter C, second order consumer? Or letter D, producers? All right, so we are now on our second question for our pretest. Let's see who will be the one who answered the, the question number two. Hello there from Katmon National High School, from Don Mariano Marcos National High School. Ayan. So we have here Lorenzo DRG answered uh, letter D as well as Janelle, Cabilin, Lea. All right. So Samantha Fajardo, Ginger Alonso. We have also Dustin Layug answered letter D. Francine De Leon Panlangin answered letter D. Laika Galang Pagdanganan, Meryl Kate Pascual, Sharina. All right. Who else? Frena Joy de Guzman answered letter D. Uh, Cyril Alcantara answered letter D also. As well as Kurt Furok. All right. So let's see what's the uh, what is the answer for question number two. The answer is letter B. All right. So first order consumer. All right. So I think it, uh, by the way it's letter A. I uh, letter D rather. 
Okay, nagkamali lang si Sir, si Tutor Marky. The answer is letter D. So it it it, it is the most energy kasi si producer. So since siya yung first level. All right. Uh so our third question. All right. So we have All right. So lihintay lang natin. Ayan. When the frog eats grasshopper, the energy from the grasshopper moves transfers into the blank. So we have here letter A water, letter B soil, letter C air, or letter D frog. All right. So when the frog eats grasshopper, the energy from the grasshopper moves or transforms into the blank. All right. So what is the answer for this question number three? So according to Aidan uh, Daipuyart, okay, he answered letter uh, letter B. So according to Janelle Trinales, letter D, Lorenzo Diorgi, letter D, Mark, Sir Mark Lester answered also letter D. Um, all right. So Rain... Eugenio answer letter D. Like agalang pagal letter D. According to Daisy, it's letter B naman ng kanya. So Kurt Furok with the question mark letter D. Cyril Alcantara letter D. So let's see what is the answer. All right. So the answer is letter D. Frog. All right. So good job everyone. So everyone kindly comment your scores. You have uh that you had on our pretest. So. Let's see, hintayin natin kung ano yung naging scores nila. So, you are agamazing and fantastic, everyone. So, since you already answered our pre-test, we already have uh, Lorenzo DRG answered, uh, ayan, 3 over 3. We have uh, Kateo Soriano, 3 over 3. Justin Layug, 2 over 3. Okay lang yan. Alright, as well as si Cyril, si Katleya, si John Zyrus, 3 over 3. Si Ma'am Nenitag Tolentino, 3 over 3. Ayan, Samantha Fajardo with the yehey. All right, three over three. Thank you very much for your participation in our pre-test. Congratulations. Let's move on. Ayan. Uh, for our background or for our review, if you still remember, when we had our online tutorial session on week four, so you already discussed this. As a certain review, we have already discussed the classification of living organisms. So we already identify uh, the, the hierarchical, hierarchical uh um what you call this classification of the organisms we have uh the species we have the genus the family the order the class the phylum and the kingdom so all the organisms inside uh all organisms that we have uh whether it is a plants or animals all of them has its classification and they are all inside in an ecosystem that's why last time we uh, i already uh, discussed to you or uh, give you some information uh, information or inputs that we must also uh, take care of our environment because we are also part of our environment we are part uh, we are part of um, an ecosystem we are having our needs with our different animals, we have different plants. In short, we are interconnected with them. So in short, we are in interconnected. Dapat mahalin natin sila, pangalagaan natin ang mga taong or hayop and or different organisms na nakapaligid sa, sa atin. So now that you have classified those organisms, let us learn more about their interactions of plants and animals. And knows who it's the other organisms just like what i've told you we are part of the biodiversity and as being part of that interrelated tayo sa isa't isa tayo ay may kailangan sa kanila sila may kailangan din sa atin we are interacting with each other so therefore there is an interaction all right so as you can see here class ano yung napapansin nyo dito so let's see ating uh uh, slide. So we have here food chain. So as you can see, class food chain, di ba? Kung makikita nyo po, it is su such a cycle. May makita tayong uh, halaman, may araw, may grasshopper, okay, may frog, may snake, may hawk, and also we have a fungi. So just like what I've told you a while ago, all of us are interconnected with each other. So just like them, they are interconnected to each other. So on what particular way? They are interconnected because of what we call food chain. All right. So what is a food chain? Can we consider this as a part of a certain biodiversity? Yes, it is part of biodiversity. 
So it is it is just only a process that can be found in biodiversity. So what is a food chain? So a food chain is a relationship that shows the flow of energy in an environment. So I highlighted here the flow of energy, diba? As an organism, as a human being, or being part of biodiversity, all of us has an energy. So lahat ng ginagawa natin, lahat ng mga activities natin, breathing, jogging, eating, hopping, running, all of us needs um, energy for us to survive in this particular world. So just like any organisms, just like the frog, the grasshopper, the different animals and plants that we have in our world, kailangan ng energy. So ngayon, sabi dito, when we talk about food chain, iting relationship or yung nagpapakita ng flow ng energy. Kumbaga, uh, from uh, from the first, uh, con- uh, from the producer na kung saan nasa kanya yung pinaka main energy, it, kapag kinain tayo or kina- kinain yon ng isang organism, mapupunta sa kanya yung energy. At yung kumain nung, nung kumain yung sa first energy, kapag, kapag uh, kumbaga, maglilipat-lipat, yung energy from from the first stage from the producer. So at mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo 'yan. So another thing, another description when we talk about food chain. So the food chain moves from one organism to another. So just like here in the picture, we have the different organisms from the plants to grasshopper to frog to snake down uh, to the to the owl. So giving energy to the organisms by digesting the food. So meaning to say as a food chain as you can see here si producer yung first step all right so kung babalikan natin yung kaninang slide kanina nakikita natin dito yung araw kung bakit may araw diyan so what is the meaning or what is the explanation kung bakit may araw since we all know or for those who who still not know that sun is the ultimate source of energy so nasa kanya lahat so producer yung first stage it is in the term of plants. So in our example here, grass ang example natin. So syempre, para ang bawat halaman na meron tayo sa earth, syempre kumukuha yan ng enerhiya sa araw through the process of photosynthesis. So remember that. So according to to this, may nakita kong output, okay, sun produces energy in a form of heat according to Lorenzo DRG. So since sun is the ultimate source of energy and all of us, even us, ay nakakuha ng vitamin sa sun, in terms of the food chain, si sun ay, ay nagbibigay ng energy or ng pagkain o yung enerhiya, sabihin na natin, dun sa mga plants na meron tayo. So yung yung plants na yon through the process of photosynthesis, nakakakuha sila ng enough energy para dun sa mga halaman. And then, and for those uh, plants that we have, they are known as the producers. At syempre, itong plant na to, since may energy na siya, kasi nga syempre tumubo na siya. So, ibig sabihin, producer, sa kanya yung first stage, sa kanya yung pinakamadaming uh, energy na nakuha niya sa araw. Ngayon, syempre, Ano ang kakain sa plant? Noong unang stage, si grasshopper. Si grasshopper, siya naman yung consumer. Siya yung makikinabang dun sa energy na binig na meron si plant, which is meron siyang produce. Siya yung nagpo-produce, nagbibigay ng enerhiya si plant at ibibigay niya yon kay grasshopper. So si grasshopper yung considered as our first consumer dahil siya yung unang nakakain dun sa plant. Second, si frog, dahil kumakain siya ng grasshopper at si grasshopper ay may energy na galing doon kay plant, kakainin ni grasshopper ay ni frog si grasshopper. So si grasshopper, consumer din siya kasi nakinabang siya doon kay grasshopper. Kaya lang, mas konti na yung makukuha niyang energy kasi siya yung considered natin as our second consumer. Same as yung snake, kapag kinain yung frog, may makukuha siyang energy. Okay? May makukuha siyang energy na yon as well as yung owl, may makukuha ang energy kapag kinain naman niya yung snake. So in short, definitely, mayroon tayong cycle or there is a chain, okay, from one organism to another. Kung, 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 kung baga, nagsasalin ng energy from one organism to another. So, 
we have here the first one is the producers. Ayan, nabanggit ko kanina. So when we talk about producers, ayan, so organisms that capable of converting energy from the sun. Ito yung nabanggit ko kanina. So si sun, since sun ha, uh, it is the ultimate uh, source of energy that we have, ibibigay na yung, yung, yung sun na yun through the process of photosynthesis sa grass. Alright? So, siya yung producer. The next one is the consumers. So, sino ba yung makikinabang dun sa producer? Si consumer. Si consumer naman, okay, siya yung uh, mag, magsusupply, uh, siya yung makakakuha ng energy na sinupply ng producer. So, dito sa example natin, sabi ko nga, si mouse, okay, si snake, okay, and even si hawk ay example ng consumers. Okay. The third one, we have the de de decomposers. Here is the microscopic organisms that break down the bodies of dead animals and plants. The nutrients that come from their decomposition get back to the soil. So dito sa chain na pinapakita ko sa inyo, from, from the sun, okay, from the ultimate source of energy, binigay or nakakakuha ng enerhiya ang producer natin which is the grass, okay, and then kapag kinain, uh, nagkaroon ng food uh, food chain, okay, this is snake, binigay yung energy niya kay hawk, kinain kasi ni hawk si snake. Pagating sa hawk, may energy na siya, nagaling doon sa snake kasi kinain niya. Kung baga, kapag tumanda na to si hawk or there is na, there, there will be a time na uh, namatay si hawk, di syempre, mag, uh, mandedeng compose yung body niya. So, kakainin yun ng mga different microorganisms. Yung different microorganisms na yun, yun yung considered as decomposers. Kung baga kung namatay na yung hawk dito sa example natin, kakainin yung dead yung dead body ng hawk. So, ang kumakain nun ay yung different microorganisms that considered as decomposers. So, as a, um, here is a simple um, uh, summary nung kanina, nung producers, consumers, and decomposers. So producers, uh, those are the different animals, uh, plants that we have. Okay, ito yung mga kinakain ng mga consumers. So preferably, ang mga example natin, ito yung mga different plants na, na meron tayo. Kasi nga, they are the one who gets uh, energy from the sun through the process of photosynthesis. Consumers, okay, sila yung kumakain or nakikinabang sa mga producers. Okay nakukuha nila yung energy from the producers. However, we talk about uh, consumers naman, kapag namatay yung mga consumers natin, kakainin naman sila ng mga decomposers. At yung mga decomposers nito ay makikita natin sa soil. So, kumbaga, babalik at babalik. So, that is what we call food chain. So, dito sa another example natin, okay, we have uh, the producer Okay, the first stage, so siya yung nakapinakamadaming energy, kakainin ng uh, grasshopper yung plants or yung grass. So meron na siyang energy, so siya yung una na kinabang, that's why siya yung primary consumer or the first consumer. Ngayon, ang kakain naman sa grasshopper, si frog. Okay, kasi siyang frog, kumakain ng grasshopper, siya yung secondary consumer. Yung energy ni grasshopper ay nakuha ni frog, kaya lang mas konti na. Okay, so next one, ang frog, which is second secondary consumer, ay kakainin naman ng ating tertiary consumer, which is a snake. Okay, so merong nakuhang uh, energy si snake kay frog. Okay, as well as, ang final consumer natin ay si owl na kumakain ng snake. So also, just like the snake, may nakuha din si owl na energy from the snake. So, for next one, since si owl ang ating final consumer, mamamatay si owl, kasi syempre lahat naman tayo ay mamamatay, okay, madedecompose ang ating body at yon ay makukuha naman ng ating mga microorganisms gaya nung mga ito. Ito yung mga fungi, which is uh, fungi, ito yung mga nandiskasan na yung nakaraan, and syempre, babalik sa soil. Alright, so we have here uh, from uh, Mary Rose Santiago, the group of organisms called decomposers forms uh, from the final link in the food chain. Ayan. Hello din po kay Sir Alfredo Reliora from Ocampo National High School. Thank you very much po for uh, allowing your students to watch our online tutorial session every Monday. 
Ayan, thank you very much po. Ayan, nakakasegue pa ako ng bate. The next one is the food web. Okay, as you can see class, if you're going to compare this dun sa uh, food chain kanina, sa food chain, kung mapapansin nyo, isang uh, arrow lang, so isang direction lang siya, paikot. However, kapag sinabi natin food chain, there is an a uh, interlocking Okay, kumbaga, sanga-sanga siya. So, ibig sabihin dito sa food chain, dito natin makikita or malalaman kung sino-sino, uh, kumbaga, kung paano kumakain ng isang organism ng hindi ba pang organism. So, dito siya makikita. So, kung mapapansin nyo po, hindi lang isa, hindi lang dalawa, madami. It is a multiple uh, kinds of food chain. Okay, so, from this example, ito po ay... Uh, Uh, the different organism or different uh, animals that can be found on the marine biodiversity. We have here the uh, phytoplankton, we have the sardine, we have the bullet, we have the lapu-lapu, the tuna, mackerel, we have the shark, as well as the uh, an anchovy. So when we talk about food chain, it is the summary of all the pathways by which energy moves from one level to another through the ecosystem. Since in an ecosystem, most of them Siyempre, sila-sila yung, sila, sila lang yung mga nandoon. Sila-sila yung nagkakainan sa isa't isa. Kung baga, they have their own uh, food chain. Kung baga, sa food web, mas pinagsama-sama sila. Interconnected sila sa isa't isa. So, a food web, okay, simplified. It is a simplified food cycle within the sea. So, as we can see here, uh, illustrated the interconnected Uh, feeding relationship between the sea organism. Just like what I've told you a while ago, so there is a producer, there is a consumer, kaya lang, syempre, maraming, uh, maraming ng involved. Kasi there is a simplified food cycle uh, nung iba't ibang organisms. Kaya lang magkaka-interconnected sila. So just like what I've told you a while, a while ago, the differentiation between the food chain and the food web, when we talk about food chain, okay, there is uh, only one path Okay, there is a producer. Okay, they are, they are the one who has uh, a lot of energy to the first uh, consumer, to the second consumer, to the tertiary consumer. Okay, down to the decomposers going back to as being a producer. That is a food chain. However, when we talk about food web, okay, food web, there is an interconnectedness of different uh, food chains. Kumbaga, pinagsama-samang food chain ng kanya bat ibang mga organisms kaya lang ayan kaya lang interconnected sa iba't sa isa't isa all right so kung makikita natin dito from the berries ang mga berries ay kinakain ng butterfly kinakain ng ladybird kinakain din ng red robin so ang red robin ito sa taas kinakain ay kinakain ng eagle Okay, Kinaka, kinakain ng eagle. So, yung energy ni berries na punta kay red robin, si red robin, which is yung ibon dito sa taas, ay kapag kinain siya ng eagle, punta yung energy ni red robin kay eagle. So, likewise, we have here the lady ladybird, kinain siya ng, bar, ng dragonfly, as well as the butterfly, kinain nung frog. So, yung energy nung ni butterfly, ni ladybird, and even the dragonfly, ay mapupunta kay frog. Okay, same as ito, the producer, si rabbit, si grasshopper, si rat, si frog, si snake. Okay, ayan, ay kakainin naman sila ni eagle at saka ni fox. So si eagle at si fox, they were the one who will be the final or the tertiary consumer. At syempre, pag namatay si eagle at si fox, yung body nila ay kakainin naman ng mga decomposers. And that is what we call the food web. Alright, so... Ayan. So, we have here, uh, okay, we have here another one from Sir Christopher, Res, uh, Christopher Espicio. Ayan. A network of interconnecting food chains in a natural community of different organisms is called a food web. Ayan. Thank you very much, uh, Christopher. And right, so hello po sa so mga taga Partida National High School. Ayan. So, from the Ocampo National High School, uh, Santa Cruz National High School, Don Mariano Marcos National High School, Good afternoon po and welcome sa ating online tutorial session. Ako lang po, baka halapag po si Tutor C. Thank you very much for always be there. At talaga namang sinasamahan ako up, up to end. All right, just moving on, we have here the food pyramid. Ayan, food pyramid, food pyramid. All right, so when organisms eat, they absorb 
uh, energy or absorbed matter also as an energy into their bodies, just like what I've told you a while ago. So, for example, once you eat chicken, tayo as a human being, okay, even tayo ay part ng isang food chain, isang part ng food web. Okay, pag tayo, kinain natin yung chicken, okay, so yung nutrients ng chicken na pinaka uh, na, na, na meron siya or even yung energy na meron ng isang chicken ay mapupunta din sa atin. Okay? So nagbibigay to ng muscles and even nagbibigay siya ng energy sa atin. So ngayon, kung ano yung kinain ng chicken na kinain natin, okay, napupunta din sa atin. Kaya lang nababawas-bawasan siya. So that is the food pyramid. So as you can see here, we have here an example. Okay? The top, we have here uh, from the cactus. Okay, ang cactus, okay, it serves as the producer. Okay, ang cactus, from from this example, okay, ay, ay merong a certain organism just like the mice. Okay, okay, nakukuha siya ng energy through the cactus. So, yung energy na yon, he is considered as the primary producers, primary consumers rather. So ngayon, itong mice ito, pag kinain siya ng scorpions, okay, si scorpions ang mga makikinabang dun sa kinuha ng ating primary consumer. So the scorpion will be considered as our second consumer or our secondary consumer. At ang rattlesnake, okay, ay considered as a tertiary consumer, kinain niya yung scorpion, okay, siya yung uh, considered as our final Okay, final consumer or tertiary consumer. So from this, as you can see, class, we have here the food pyramid of a certain food uh, cycle or food chain rather. So kasi isang direction lang. So makikita nyo po dito, ang producer is merong, siya yung pinaka bottom part. Meaning to say, siya yung may pinakamaraming nakuhang energy. Siyempre, dahil nagpapasalin-salin yung energy dahil yun sa pagkakain-kain ng isang organism sa isang pang organism, Pagdating kay tertiary consumer, which is part, it is which is on the top of our food pyramid, siya yung mas less ang energy na nakuha. So habang dumadami ng dumadami yung organisms na nagtapata, nagpapa uh, salin ng energy from the producers, mas lumiliit yung uh, energy na nakukuha. All right. So kuha po ba? So now ano-ano ba, since pinag-uusapan na natin ay yung mga hayop or yung organisms, so dahil kainan ang pinag-uusapan natin, kung paano ba nagkakaroon ng transfer of energy from one organism to another. So we will go and discuss to you the kung paano kinakain o nagkatransmit ng isang uh, nagkatransmit ng energy ang isang organism to another. So they are uh, categorized into three okay, with the, in which the first one is the herbivores. So, when we talk about this, based on the video that you are uh, watching, kung sana na-enjoy nyo po yung uh, video natin, we have here uh, a goat. Ayan. So, hello po. Ayan, may mga, ayan. So, herbivores are, those are the animals that eat mainly plants. So, sila lang yung mga uh, hayop na kumakain ng mga uh, plants. So, this includes the leaves. So, kahit na uh, bulaklak, uh, seeds, Yung, yung roots, yung uh, fruits, pollen, and different uh, uh, anything that serves as the producer, okay, sila yon Yun lang yung kinakain nila. So, yung mga example natin, we have the deer, horses, rabbits, cows, bees, sheep, and grasshoppers. So, from this one, syempre, kung nakikita nyo yung kambing dito, ang ating producer dito is yung halaman. Kasi siya nakukuha yung halaman ng energy coming from the sun through the process of photosynthesis. Okay. So dahil kinain ni herbivore, okay, yung, yung mga herbivore animals natin, napupunta sa kanila yung energy. Okay. The next one is we have carnivores. Ayan. So may pa-video tayo. So hindi, so these are the animals or even plants that eat mainly feed, uh, mainly meat. Okay, this includes insects and all animals. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga animals na nakakategorize as car car carnivo carnivores, hindi sila kumakain ng plants, hindi sila kumakain ng seeds, ng prutas. Ang kinakain lang nila is meat. Okay, gaya ng example natin dito, even yung halaman, ayan o, oh, okay, ay kumakain ng insekto. So, yung karne ng insekto, yung meat niya, is nakakakuha siya ng energy dun sa insect. So just like yung isa pa nating video, 
here, okay, so yung tiger, okay, is namatay dito yung uh, pinatay nila ng tiger, yung isang animal, so siguro ito ay uh, elephant, okay, yun lang ang kinakain nila. So some carnivals are the felines, the birds of prey, the sharks, frogs, okay, we have here spiders, Ayan. So, yung mga birds of prey na rin, we have the eagles, hawks, uh, owls, and uh, lions, tigers, and all cats. So, in you say carnivores, ang kinakain lang nila ay meat. Alright, so moving on. On our third uh, example or type of, uh, of way on how the plants and animals eat, the, first, the next one is the omnivores. Dito, sa omnivores naman, Ang ito yung mga organisms or animals na kumakain both plants and animals. So, tayo as a human being, tayo yung example or best example ng tinatawag nating omnivores. Kasi tayo, pwede tayong kumain ng mga plant or gulay, okay, mga plants, and also meat, kumakain din tayo ng meat. So, pwedeng fried chicken, pwedeng karne ng manok, ay, karne ng baboy, karne ng baka. So on and so forth. So we have here examples. We have the humans, the bears, ayan. We have the panda, ayan nga siya. Si raccoons, and even uh, primates, the apes, and the monkeys na meron tayo. Kung familiar kayo sa mga yun, okay, pag napunta kayo ng zoo, they are all classified as omnivores. Alright, so ayan, men, nandiyan pa ang ating mga uh, grade 8 learners. Ayan, refresh, refresh lang natin ang ating... Uh, comment section. Alright, so moving on. Alright, so we already done discussing our uh, topic. Now let's moving on to the activities that we have. Are you ready, grade 8 learners? So we have here uh, uh, as what we have, the perfect match, the direction is choose the correct letter that corresponds to the given terminology. Ready na tayo, guys? Now first question or first statement, rather, they obtain their energy from the producers. So, is it letter A, consumer, or letter B, decomposer? Alright, let's see our, ayan, ready, ready, ready na daw si uh, Sir Alfredo Reliora, si Antricia Valenzuela, si Marniel, si Castlea, si Ginger, alright, si Aidan. So, from our first statement, according to this, si Sir uh, Alfredo, so consumer, letter A ang kanyang answer, si Castlea, letter A ang answer, si Cyril, si... Ma'am Ninita Martin, letter A also. Ginger, Lorenzo, Leia, Aidan, okay, Leia de Vera. So let's see. All right. The first, so this consumer. Very good. Okay, for our second, okay, statement. Okay. So these are organisms that break down dead or decaying organisms. Is it letter A, decomposer, or letter B, producer? So we are now on our statement number two. Okay, uh, while waiting for our answers. Ayan, hello po sa mga taga DMMNHS. Ayan. So we are now on our second question, second statement. Okay, Janelle Trinyanes answered letter A, as well as Mam Ninita, as well as Daisy, Lorenzo, Marniel, and Trisha. All right, Kimberly Manaog. Letter A, Cyril Alcantara, Angel Nolasco, letter A. And Trisha Valenzuela also answered letter A. Let's see. Okay, what is the correct answer? All right. So the answer is letter A, the composer. Okay, all right. Okay, next. Okay, okay kinakabahan. Baka lumabas ang ating question. Ay, ang ating, ang ating answer sa ating uh, PowerPoint. Okay, for our third Okay, these are organisms that feed on plants. Okay, they are the primary consumer. Okay, is it letter A, omnivores, letter B, herbivores? Okay, we have our, our third, um, third uh, statement. All right. Oh, so, Sir Alfredo Reliora answered letter, letter B, herbivores. Janelle Cabilin answered letter B, Aidan Daipuyart. All right, so Crisha Cruz, letter B also. Okay, Janelle Cabilin, letter B. And Trisha Valenzuela, answer letter B. So, very well. So, the answer is letter B. Thank you very much. 
So for our fourth statement, okay, this is the interlocking of food chains. Is it letter A, food pyramid, or letter B, food web? We are now on our fourth um, statement, the interlocking of food chain. So ito yung madaming uh, ano eh, uh, simplified uh, food chains ng iba't ibang mga animals. So Lorenzo DRG answered uh, letter B, food web. All right, like agalang pagdanganan, answer letter B also. Aidan Daypuyart, Lorenzo DRG, Kathleen Soriano, answer letter G as well as Ginger Alonso. Okay, the answer is letter B. Thank you very much. Ayan, good. For our last statement, okay. All right, so these are organisms that feed on meat. They are the secondary consumer. So is it letter A, carnivores, or letter B, omnivores? We are now down to the fifth statement. So what is this? Okay, everyone. So while waiting for them, they're still answering the the question number four, the same number four. We have here, like, agalang pagdangansan answered first. Okay, uh, answer is letter A. As well as Ginger Alonso, Kimberly Manaog, Christian Alvaro. Ayan, so Cyril Alcantara answered letter A. Uh, Trish, um, and Trisha Valenzuela also answered letter A. So the answer is carnivores. Very well said. Okay, thank you very much. So for our second, okay, activity. So direction or... Uh, uh, based on the figure, we have here the figures and also different animals. We have uh, uh, mouse, rabbit, lizard, beetle, snake, hawk, screw. We have also decomposers, cabbage, shrub, and grass. All you need to do is to identify. Okay, from our first question, okay, actually madami siya. Okay, kaya lang, from this, based on this, sino o alin ang Alin yung producer natin dito? Okay, so nagkaroon ng 5 over 5 si Leia. Ayan. Ayan, si Marniel also got 5 over 5 on our previous activity. So from this, from our activity here, magbigay lang kayo ng kahit isa, okay, na, na kung yung consider natin as the producer based dito sa ating food web. Okay. Ayan, wala na lang ng go goes na naman yung net. Ha, ha, ha. Hello, kaya, kaya pa yan, Kimberly Manaog. All right. All right, so according to Sir Alfredo Reliora, producers are the ca uh, cabbage, grass, and shrub. So according to Lorenzo, okay, ang grass, ang grass daw, ang isa sa mga uh, producer. We have a uh, Janelle Cabilin, grass. We have a uh, uh, Janelle Trinyanes, grass, cabbage, shrub. All right. Katleya Soriano answered also grass. So the answer for this, we have grass, cabbage, and shrub. All right. They are the producers. Kasi sila yung mga nakakuha, nasa kanilang pinakamadaming energy kasi from the sun. Okay. Second one, we have identify the same, fi uh, same figure tayo, guys. Now, okay. Identify the primary consumers. Ayan. Primary consumers. Uh, our second statement, give me, give me nga pala atin. Give me, give me. Ang ating uh, title of our um, activity. So, which one, or alin dito, sa mga to, yung consider natin as the primary consumers. Yung unang nakinabang sa ating mga producers. Alright, we have here Justin Layug. He, uh, he answered mouse, rabbit, and beetle. Janelle Cabilin answered mouse. According to Aidan Beetle, all right, Cyril Alcantara Mouse Rabbit Beetle, kay Ginger ay Mouse. Ay all right, kay Jamela Mouse, Ginger Mouse, Antricia Mouse Rabbit Beetle, like agalang Mouse and Rabbit, ay Katleya Beetle. So let's answer what it, what will be our correct answer for this activity. Very good. So our primary consumers here are the mouse, the rabbit, and the beetle because they were the one who first considered as a primary consumer. Sila yung unang kumain dun sa ating mga producers na grass, cabbage, and shrub na makikita natin sa ating figure. So our third, I think this will be the last for the give me, give me activity. All right. Which one? Or from this, we have the different animals, di ba, na makikita niyo. Which one or which animal has the most number to eat? 
Okay. Pinakamadaming animal na makakain. Alright. So, sino dito? So, ibig sabihin, uh, isa lang. Most. Okay, we have here answer Janelle Cabilin, the hawk. Alright. Lorenzo, the hawk also. Okay, Lea De Vera, hawk. Justin Layug, hawk. Kurt, um, for rock, hawk with a question mark. Like a galang pagdangan ng hawk. Cyril, hawk, hawk. Ayan, nabubulol na ako. According to an angel, angel naman, snake yung kanya. Okay, Lea De Vera, hawk. Okay, so we have here Aunt Risha Hawk. So let's look with the answer. The answer is Hawk. Very good. Grade 8 learners and also teachers who are participating in our online tutorial session. Thank you very much. So good job to everyone. All right, so moving on. Ayan, we are now on our assessment. So let's ready. Okay, the direction is read each question carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers or comment it down. All right. Are you ready for the first question is? All right. Nga kabahan ako, baka lumabas ang, question, ang sagot. In a food pyramid, the amount of energy that any level of organism receives increases. Is it letter A, across the pyramid? Letter B, down the pyramid? Letter C, in all levels? Or letter D, up to the pyramid? Okay. In a food pyramid, the amount of energy that any level of organism receives increases. Okay. Which one? We have now on our assessment. Okay. Lorenzo DRG answered letter B. Uh, Laika Galang answered letter A. All right. Trisha Goho Cruz answered letter B. Okay. Sir Alfredo answered letter B. Justin Layog letter B. Janelle Trinandes letter B. And Trisha letter A. Ging um. Ginger also answered letter A. So let's see. What is the correct answer? We have letter B, down the pyramid. Kasi nasa kanila yung producers, kaya sila yung may pinakamadaming uh, energy na nare-receive. Alright? Second question. Where does the food chain start? A, consumer. Letter B, decomposer. Letter C, producer. Or letter D, any of the following. Sino yung nag start ng food chain? Okay, we are now on the second question of our assessment. Let's see your comments. We have, let's see, and hintay natin. They are still answering the first question. Lorenzo DRG answered letter C, the producer. All right, Katleya Soriano answered letter C. Like Agalang Pagdana, letter C. All right, Sayril Alcantara answered letter C. All right, and Trisha Valenzuela answered letter C. All right, and most of them answered letter C. Let's see if letter C is the correct answer. All right, very good. The answer is letter C, producer. And for our last question, I uh, hopefully, okay, what level of an organism is found at the top of the food pyramid? Is it letter A, producers? All right. Ayan. Letter B, primary consumers. Letter C, secondary consumers. Or letter D, tertiary consumers. Again, what level of an organism is found at the top of the food pyramid? Is it letter A, producers? Letter B, primary consumers? Letter C, secondary consumers? Letter D, tertiary consumers? So the the one who answered the first, who answered first is Rain Eugenio. He answered letter D, followed by Aidan Daipuyart. And then, um, like a galang paglangana, answered letter D also. Cyril Alcantara, letter D. Christian Alvaro answered letter D also. Let's see. All right, very good. The answer is letter D. Ayan. Okay, good job, everyone. So, comment or score isang uh, fantastic or fantastic rather and agamazing na summative assessment or assessment ang, uh, for this afternoon ang ating uh, sinagutan. So let's see. Let me see your score. We have three over three. Janelle Cabilin, good job. We have Trisha Ga, uh, Cruz, three over three. Good job. Kurt Furok, uh, three over three. Lorenzo DRG, Jamela Osdanya, three over three. Congratulations, everyone. Mary Rose Santos, three over three. As well as uh, Antricia uh, Valenzuela, two over three. Okay lang yan. As well as train Eugenio. All right for our... Ah, uh, side task for the week. Ayan. 
So, paki-ready na po ang inyong screenshot. We have here, tatlong slide yata to, if not mistaken. On social media, we saw people who are attempting to be slim and fit by trying different kinds of diet, such as the ketogenic diet, the vegetarian diet, the Weight Watchers, the South Beach Diet, and the Raw Food Diet. All of them have their own explanation on how they can help us to be fit and slim. Okay. Direction. Based on the table below, or based on the table that will be presented, which do you think is the best kind of diet and why? All right. So, which one? Ayan. So, screenshot lang po mga kaibigan. Is it ketogenic diet? Okay. Vegetarian diet? Weight Watchers? South Beach Diet? And Raw Food Diet? So, alin dito? I-answer, uh, tawag dito, i-arrange nyo to in order. Okay. Kung sino yung may pinaka, uh, uh, tawag dito, yung may best diet from, from, uh, aray na, number one, number one yung pinaka the best. So, number uh, five yung pinaka hindi the best. So, screenshot lang po for the description of each kind of diet. Ayan. So, ayan, still commenting po sila. Ayan, no? Thank you very much. So, ayan. We already done our online tutorial session for this afternoon. So, ayan. So, thank you very much din po. And again, grade 8 learners, share 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 our online tutorial session for this afternoon para mas madami naman tayong maki, uh, makakapanood sa atin at mas marami ang matututo. Up next po si Tutor Kevin from SDO Kalamba and Tutor Van Dong from SDO Malabon. On behalf of uh, Tutor C from SDO uh, Tarlac Province, my name is Tutor Marky from SDO Balacan. Laging po nating tandaan, sagham, ikaw, ako, tayong lahat ang bida. Goodbye everyone. Thank you very much. Ang husay naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning! Dito sa Itulay!